I'm Martin Schüttler, CTO of Cortec. Today I'm going to show you how to implant our air raid tunnel cuff electrodes in a slightly different way than you would like to do it. The micro tunnel cuff is one of our standard cuff designs, which are available for preclinical research. It's a split cylinder cuff that is actually very easy to handle. For our demonstration today, we chose a bipolar electrode with a diameter of 2 mm. But of course, the product is available in various other configurations, starting at a diameter of 200 micrometers, going up to several millimeters with two, three or even more contacts in it. Now let's see where we are putting it. Nerves are quite delicate to handle. We found the ideal substitute, spaghettini al dente. With a diameter of about 0.8 mm, our fitting model represents a medium-sized nerve. Like a nerve, it is soft, flexible and easy to damage. Make sure that you have access to the implantation site, so free it from surrounding tissue. Obviously, with our fitting model we do not have any problems here. Make sure there will be some slag in the nerve at either end. After having disinfected the electrode in ethanol, dip it in sterile saline solution to remove the alcohol, which acts otherwise as a neurotoxin. So, especially for a very small cuff electrode, it might not be sufficient to wet the surface by just uh, doing an ethanol dip followed by a saline dip. Uh, in this case, we recommend sonicating the electrode in the saline. So for that we have a small ultrasonic tank and this one has about 800 milliliters of filling volume and 35 watts so it's a really weak ultrasound and we apply the ultrasound for not more than 90 seconds. So now all the bubbles should be removed from the surface of the cuff electrode and it is ready to get implanted. For handling of our cuff electrodes we recommend using tweezers with flat tips around the tips because then you don't risk damaging the electrodes and so when you're using very pointy tweezers especially uh, you run the risk of poking through the silicone. So we don't want to use those. First position the cuff in parallel to the nerve. Grab the cuff by its colored flaps and open it. Gently pull the yellow flap underneath the nerve and let the cuff close by itself. If you think the cuff requires some extra push for a perfect closure, do this with the tweezers. In order to ensure a good electrical coupling between the nerve and the cuff electrode, we recommend injecting a small amount of saline solution into the cuff, either with a syringe or with a pipette. That's what you better do with a board.